In this video, we are going to be considering the inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix. A 2x2 two two matrix is a matrix that has two rows and two columns. For example, if A is a 2x2 two two matrix, then I would have A sub 1, 1, A sub 1, 2, A sub 2, 1, and A sub 2, 2. So we can tell here that there are two rows. This is row 1. This is row 2, and also two columns, column 1 and column 2. Now, we can obtain the inverse of this matrix using this formula. A inverse, is, of course, this can be written as R joints over the determinants of A. Of course, this is the R joints of A. The R joint of A. Here we have that the A to the power of negative 1, this is the symbol for A inverse. A sandwich between two bars is the determinant of A. From the previous video, we know what the determinant is. Considering this matrix here, the determinant of A is just going to be, so we are just going to do this A11, A22 minus a12 a21 this is the determinant of a now to obtain the determinants we are just going to identify the elements on the leading diagonal the leading diagonal is a diagonal that runs from left to right so we've got a11 a22 we are going to take the product that's a11 a22 minus the product of the elements on the other diagonal so this is the determinant the next thing is going to be the adjoints to obtain the R joint of A, we are still focusing on the same matrix. We are going to identify the elements on the leading diagonal, flip them. So here, we've got two elements on the leading diagonal, A11 and A22. So we are going to flip. That's going to give A22, A11. And on the other diagonal, we are just going to multiply each of them by a negative 1. So I've got A12 here. I'm just going to multiply by a negative 1. That gives negative A12. And I've got A21. Multiplying by a negative 1 gives negative A21. So this is the adjoint of matrix A, which has elements A11, A12, A21, and A22. Let's take a few examples. Here is the first one. Find A inverse if A equals 1, 2, 3, 4. So solving this, we know that A inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant of A times the R joint of A. So the first thing we are going to do is going to be to figure out the determinants. So, these are the two elements on the leading diagonal. We are going to multiply them. That's 1 times 4 minus 2 times 3. So, this is equal to 4 minus 6. And so, we see that the determinant of A is a negative 2. Then, we would have to compute the adjoint of A. The adjoint of A. So, we know what A is. 1, 2, 3, 4. The elements on the leading diagonal are 1 and 4. We are going to flip them. So this is going to be 4, then 1. Then multiply the elements on the other diagonal by negative 1. So 2 times negative 1, negative 2. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So this is the R joint of A. Thus, the inverse of this matrix is going to be 1 over the terminants, which is negative 2 times the R joint, 4, negative 2, negative 3, 1. And of course, we know from matrix multiplication by a scalar that 1 over negative 2 is a scalar. So I can just take that to multiply every element in this matrix if I wish. But I'm not going to do that. All I'm going to do here is just going to raise this negative up because I've got a positive 1 here. So my final answer will be negative 1 half then the R joints. The second problem, find the inverse of B if B equals 2, negative 3, 
1 negative 4. So as usual, we are going to obtain the determinant of B. So that's going to be equal to the elements on the leading diagonal here is 2 and negative 4. We are going to multiply them. 2 times negative 4. Then minus negative 3 times 1. So this is negative 3 times 1. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. So I've got negative 8 plus 3. And this gives a negative Next is the adjoint of the matrix, so the adjoint of B. So this is going to be equal to the elements on the leading diagonal are 2 and negative 4. I'm going to flip them. So negative 4 is going to take the place of 2, and 2 is going to take the place of negative 4, and multiply each one of these items on the other diagonal by negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 3, that's a positive 3. Negative 1 times times 1 is negative 1. So this is the adjoint. Therefore, the inverse of matrix B, which is 1 over the determinant of B times its adjoint, is equal to 1 over negative 5 times the matrix negative 4, 3, negative 1, Two. I can refine this result by taking this negative up because here is a positive 1. So my final answer is going to be negative 1 over 5. Then the adjoint of the matrix, negative 4, 3, negative 1, 2. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, drop a comment, and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.